Was it confusing at the range when the reticle moves in the opposite direction of your turret dial label? And your shot groups are getting further away from the point of aim. Some shots didn't even land on the paper, and you spend longer than you think to zero your optic with wasted bullets. If so, what you're seeing is exactly what the optic is supposed to do, and there is nothing wrong with your optic. The directional labels on your optic reference the point of impact instead of the point of aim. This is true for red dot sights, prism optics, and long-range scopes. For the shooter whose optic is mounted on the 12 o'clock position, and the optic may not always be in alignment with the barrel. This is very common for users who frequently swap among optics, building a brand new rifle or mounting a brand new optic coming straight out of the packaging. Sometimes a previously zeroed red dot may be completely off when mounted on a different firearm, especially if the top rail has damage, not clean or out of spec. The key here is to match the barrel and the reticle roughly in the same spot to get the zero. To save ammo, people can actually do this at home with a laser bore sight without firing any live rounds before heading to the range. This one is very affordable and serves as an excellent tool for sighting in your firearm before heading to the range. Another thing to note is that the laser always travels in a straight line. This does not mean that the point of impact will align precisely with the laser pointer. Hope this video is helpful and watch this step-by-step -step video on zeroing and red dot sight on an AR-15.